Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Valheim Plus. And you can see behind me, I got a one-star boar back there who kind of might have heard me. There's also a boar back there with it, just a regular one, uh, which I should be able to breed them together. You get a bunch of little one-star babies out of that. Should be pretty good for some meat. Now, I would like a two-star boar, but I didn't find one, okay? But I did find a one-star. Okay, so beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll just settle with that. Now, they're back there just chowing down on, uh, on some mushrooms that I threw in there. You know, pigs like mushrooms, right? Truffles. So they're back there uh, chowing down. Now, I am going to befriend these two pigs, these two boars. And then I'm going to have them start pumping out all sorts of babies that I am going to slaughter mercilessly <laughs> uh, with uh, with a butcher knife to get myself lots and lots and lots of boar meat. Uh, I'm, good on, I'm good on boar meat. I don't actually need this, okay? This is just something I'm doing while I'm waiting for people to fight the next boss. <laughs> and I think what I might do today is build a little something something here this is our starter farm right here but now that i got a much a much much bigger farm here are at my uh at my place back there at my, my kitchen i don't really need these starter farms anymore so i think what i'm going to do is tear these down i'm going to end up building like an animal like a stable here for for the pigs and i think that's what i'm going to focus on to, on today's episode however i really do need to get these boars tamed so in the meantime Enjoy some footage from some uh, shenanigans that uh, that we were doing earlier on the server. I'll be here waiting for these boars. I'm gonna get my Leo DiCaprio on. You both come stand up here. I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. Let's go. I like that we timed this perfectly though, because it's like the sun is just setting. So these fish that jump out of the water though kind of freak me out because I, I think that it's a serpent fin. And it's not. Oh. I did actually catch a blowfish by jumping into the boat. Nice. It is uh, night time officially. So serpents will look like fins sticking out of the water. I've seen that? one. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna say clump. Yeah, you have seen one. There's also a kraken up ahead here that is completely unharvested, but I was gonna leave it for other people. <laughs> oh, that was just a fish jumping out of the water. I was like, oh, oh, oh there's one, but no. No, those are fish. Dang it. <laughs> Got all excited again. When it seems like all hope is lost, then we'll get attacked. Well, that's the idea. Like, yeah. they feed off of that. They're off the fear. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing the other half of that uh, continent. See what's going on there. We, um, we can sail down to where you did run into that one just outside the Mistlands. Because if you saw it but didn't kill it, it should still be there. And that was a while ago. Yeah, that's right. It should still be there. Eating fish and other travelers. Uh oh, it's getting super dark. You just traded in for darkness? Super darkness. That usually means it's about to turn daytime. It's like, yes, now this is much better. Now I really can't see. <laughs> there's a black forest south of us here. And there's also a, a meadows on that land there. We can technically get everything we need. Oh, you just eat a bunch of food. <laughs> yeah. We can get everything we need to actually make a portal there. And it's daytime. Are we going to make a portal pit stop? Uh, let's let's go see if we can find the serpent first, and then... Since we got the wind at our back anyway. Yeah, I can't can't sacrifice that. Here. Oh, oh dear. I fell overboard. Oh. That's the quickest way to stop the boat. Everyone hop out. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know. We, you know we're gonna have I was a just bit looking in the map. Yeah. They say the safest way to uh, travel is you can hold on to the mast. Things yeah, so there's this tiny little gap between yep. those two islands. Uh -huh. That's where I lost it. That's where you lost the serpent? Where did you run into yeah. it initially? Pretty much like there. Okay. I think it's funny how we sailed all the way down here just to get revenge on this thing. There's a death mosquito. It's actually coming for us, I think. Whoops. Hit the locks. <laughs> Hit the locks. <laughs> uh, goblin camp right there. So we have to raid those things to get uh, the stuff to spawn Yoglith. There are these like shaman trophy things that can appear inside them. <laughs> Shot that guy. <laughs> All right, so there's the there's the mist lands up ahead. This looks really cool though. I think that might be him. Huh? Over. Starboard. I see rocks, but I don't see him. Yeah, it could be rocks. I don't know. 
So we are now in the Mistlands. <laughs> Thank God we beat two bosses already, you know? <laughs> Otherwise, this would be a really bad idea. Ah, get it up, get it up, get it up! Oh, a fish jumped <laughs> I just caught a cod. Fish just jumped in here and I caught it. <laughs> Dang, the fishing is good down here. Oh, that's an angler fish. Oh, that is an angler fish. Yeah, there's so much dangerous stuff around us right now, it's almost unbelievable. I know this is all fun and stuff, but uh, we do eventually have to turn around and get back. <laughs> oh, there's another Kraken. Should we uh, should we get this one? Might as well. Alright, and... Okay, <laughs> jump up. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Ready, go. Oh, come on, get in the boat. You're, re you're really good at this. <laughs> there we go. Had dramatic, att uh, dramatic tension that way. Uh, I think we got all of them. I got 32. Yeah. 39 here. Nice. Yeah, that's that's definitely... Uh, I think we got all of them there. That's a big mountain. That is a big mountain. I I, I need to go to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Are you uh, turning around or... Just following a coast. Oh, I'm just kind of following a coast at the moment. I figured if we turn around, we'll come back even like at night. That'll be a good time to run into serpents if that be the case. Yeah. By the way, that's a huge mountain. That is a very big mountain. We're running into some more rocks and stuff here. Which, I mean, I could probably navigate through, but I'm not sure if it's a smart idea to because it looks like there's a lot of fog on the other side. Is it different once you're inside of it? Yeah, you really can't see anything. It looks like you can get around. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go for. There's one of the roots of uh, Yggdrasil right there in the water. I can see that. That's where we get like the sap from that thing. From what I know, little the little I know of the Mistlands, you have to like drain the sap out of the roots and then turn it into like eider or something and use that to do the crafting. The Mistlands used to be the safest biome in the game because nothing spawned there, but now it's like wicked dangerous. <laughs> So I had an idea of setting up camps like to the north, south, east, west, and then all the in-between directions also. So that if we wanted to, we could uh, use the portal hub to get to these farther out locations quickly. Let's just mm -hmm. say Yoglith is way the hell down here, you know? <laughs> People are going to be like, I don't want to go. Oh, that's going to suck. Oh, we just take the portal. <laughs> you want to set one up here? There's a ruin right there. Yeah, I probably could. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a troll cave. Or, yeah, it's a troll Same cave. Thing. It's not gonna have the the certling cores, but uh, yeah. we can find we can find certling cores. All right, so I'm going to the troll cave over here. It's a good place to get our arrested buff pack. It's already built shelter. Wow, there's a troll in here. Yeah. Get wrecked. So we need to find a uh, chamber, get two certling cores, and then kill the great orcs. And we also have to get to a meadows to get some fine wood. Oh, it starts raining like crazy. That's nice. Nice little touch. Makes it damn near impossible to see anything now. But skeletons will find you first anyway. That's yeah, true. Oh, well, speaking of... Find some? Yep. Alright, I got uh, two cores. Alright. Star Skeletor. Troll dead. For some reason, I feel compelled to finish this whole crypt. Oh yeah, get everything out of it, get all the loot. How do you think I make so much money, actually? Just go run around in the Black Forest, kill trolls and everything, you just get tons of cash. Oh, here's a skeleton in the middle of nowhere. But I like the sea. On top of a little mountain. Oh yeah, except for this one, it's like a big rock blocking the entrance, so I gotta kinda bash it down. Yeah, this is definitely how you're making your money. Uh-huh, yeah, you get tons of it. All right, speed run. So you got you got the certling cores already, right? So I'll just leave yep. those here. Any luck with fine wood? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we need to get fine wood. The nearest elder location to where we are right now is the first one that we found. <laughs> so if we do create a portal here, we should probably call it southeast. I was gonna keep it simple. Yeah, makes sense. All right, so now we just have to find a meadows. Or planes. It is entirely possible, though, that, that we might not actually find the meadows out here. Yeah, it is just the Ashlands. Well, here's one place we could have gotten a whole lot of certainly course. 
There's just some glow glowing metal here I'm gonna collect. Since I don't see us coming back here for it later. So the glow metal, I have no idea what it's used for, not gonna lie. Not the foggy. I believe it doesn't have a use. Yeah, I was like, I don't think it does. There is one very important use for it. Having it. <laughs> well, it is nighttime, so uh, we could find a serpent. That's true. Alright, let's start working our way back. Why are we out here to begin with? Uh, serpent hunting is what it started off as, and then it devolved <laughs> into this. Uh, into just straight up exploring. But we explored the hell out of that black forest. Oh, no, it's oh, nighttime too. Oh, it's 420. Just please. The, uh... It's the Sterling Cores. Oh, 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 oh. oh. No way! There's a puffer fish in here poisoning me! I caught him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing if you could kill by a puffer fish that way? <laughs> Look at these guys, they're like chasing after me. So the nearest uh, patch of plains I can see is like right here. That's where I died. Yeah, but we were not as prepared then. I say that as puffer fish are just jumping the boat and killing me. We're, we're better now. God, fish is killing me! <laughs> You're growling. Yeah, that's the mistlands for you. So I know there's those big, uh, oh, look at that big butt thing to the left. I want to oh shoot it. Oh my god. I want to shoot it. The growling just get worse. Watch that thing go super speed after us. I suppose I probably shouldn't be shooting like arrows at something. I have no idea what it is. That thing looks dangerous. Let's poke it with a stick. Oh, there's some kind of structure right there in the mist. On the left, oh, the left side just disappeared again. Oh. There's a lighthouse thing on top of that rock to the left. Oh, wow, yeah, I see that way up there. I don't know how we're supposed to get up there, but... Oh, look at this little guy. I guess I don't really have to lead him. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no, what happened? He tripped. Cut himself shaving. Do you have, like, an open other side of the portal? No. So we are going to have to place this and then still sail back. <laughs> oh, two-star, two-star! I have no stamina. He has attention. Oh, he's still going for you. Swimming. Ah. <laughs> he did. Oh my god. Which side do you want the door on? We're gonna put it on this side. Alright, it's tagged southeast. Okay. All right, on the road again. This will at least give us an easy access down here so that when you want to do any exploring in this section of the world, we got it. Don't hit the locks. Second time I shot that thing in the ass. Good news is the yeah, sun's I setting. I mean, even though we we actually came out looking for serpents to hunt, I'd say that was a pretty successful mission, even though we didn't find any serpents. <laughs> I mean, I got two uh, Death Skeeter trophies. Yeah, there you go. You had to have found a lot some, of money. Yeah, I was gonna say you had to have found some money along the way. That was that's a that's gonna be worth something. Another pile of cash. Right, so I think that's the closest portal. Yeah. It would be nice to be able to see just once. <laughs> yeah, if it starts thunderstorming while you're in the ocean, you have a chance of seeing Thor flying across the sky. Pushed me off again. I, th I think my position is desynced on the server. Hey, maybe. Right. I'm holding fast. Oh, serpent! Oh! Hey! Trying to shoot the boat. Yeah, I probably shouldn't shoot the boat. Hey! Jump out! <laughs> That way, uh, that way the boat... Oh, Whoa, big, oh, big, fish. big fish! <laughs> <laughs> it, like, bounced off your head. <laughs> there, see? That's all you gotta do to hunt the serpent. <laughs> wow, go on that, go on that uh, epic adventure just to get that one. That was really easy. Okay, so the boars have been tamed. That didn't take too long. I was just practicing some swimming, actually, in the meantime, just trying to increase that skill. Uh, these ones, uh, let's see, we can rename these things. I'm just going to rename this one, because that one's uh, going to meet an unfortunate demise. 
uh, after it has a, has a kid. So, all right, let's see. It's uh, we need to rename this thing. So let's first let's just, let's give it a little pet there. He loves me. All right, so what should we name this one? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, left shift and uh, oops, press buttons and E. We're gonna name this one uh, uh, Pigatron. All right, there we go. Bam, Pigatron. All right, and this one, like I said, that one's gonna be an unfortunate demise, so it doesn't need doesn't need a nickname. We'll give it a little pat though. Uh, it loves me. Yeah, it's not gonna love me after a little while. So once you guys start pumping out kids, uh, I'm going to slaughter the zero star one, and then we're just gonna have uh, we're just gonna have one stars from here on out. But with them tamed, that does mean that we can start building now. So I kind of want to uh, get rid of this fence for one, but I don't want them to just roam free out of here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to probably uh, build it with the uh, the fence here. And then destroy the fence once it's done. Now, I was, I'll still have a fence holding them in place so they don't get out. But uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to make it look a little bit better than, than this. <laughs> uh, I'm going to continue this path leading through here, though. So it's going to have, like, I'm thinking, like, a roof kind of stretching over with a pig pen right over here. And then maybe the actual barn, like, stable area over here that we can... Uh, put all of our leather and leather scraps and stuff into it, I guess. I don't know. Just make it look fancy. It's going to take a little bit to design it, though, so... Uh, let me get to work on uh, kind of getting started on this, and I'll give you guys an update when I get a little something to update you on. Six and a half hours later. Okay, I got a brief update for you guys here. I've been doing some building for about an hour and some change now, just trying to figure out what I'm going to do here, and I'm, it's starting to come together now. Okay, this is that little awning like I was talking about, kind of going over between the buildings here, so people can absolutely just walk right underneath here. I think that would look really cool. The pigs have their own pen now. So the pigs have a place to actually live and stay and be happy. Let's go in here and actually take a uh, look at them. So Pigatron is still here, just looking all nice and happy with his little piggies around him. One of them is actually a one star, so all the rest of these guys are going to go bye-bye here uh, <laughs> in a little bit. Uh, they got to grow up first, though, and I believe the rules are in Valheim that there can only be five pigs in one area. Now, there are ways to exploit the holy hell out of that thing, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to basically play it legit. Because this is not going to be my main focus of the, the season. I just want to make a decorative thing here, mainly. But if I can make it somewhat functional, sure, we'll do it. But as soon as these piggies get a little bit older, all of the non-starred piggies are going to go bye-bye. And we're going to be left with Pigatron and whoever that guy is. And let them eat all the mushrooms and have a bunch of babies. And we'll uh, and then we'll breed them up and have a bunch of one-stars. But yeah, this is the boar farm now. This is the stable, so to speak. I'm starting to put in the stone floor here. Now I'm going to create basically a rectangle here, and then I'm going to start adding onto it. I want a little extension coming out the back right here. This isn't really anything other than just a stable and a fancy building. Uh, so it's not really going to be anything like a, a functional like house or anything like that. But it might kind of look like it a little bit. So, simple little A-frame design roof, I'm thinking, with a little extension out the back right here. Maybe a, right where I'm standing here, a small little storage shed as well. And uh, I, I gotta be careful with fire, because uh, piggies don't really like fire. So if I do put, like, a hearth in here or anything like that, it's gonna have to go probably over in this, like, extension area to keep the, the piggies from freaking out over there. But yeah, little update for you guys. Alright, I'm gonna finish this thing, and I'll bring you back when it's all said and done. Well, that's what I get for not eating a dragon omelet. Yeah, I don't have one either. <laughs> What's my running skill even at? Uh, 99. <laughs> it's almost maxed out. <laughs> There's a big guy. Either he's taking a massive dump and he's really upset about it, or he knows we're here. Oh, what is you've aggroed a lot of people. There, there's, uh, there's a couple, uh, couple of big guys in there. So which big guy is the big bad? Uh, all the big guys are big bads. <laughs> But one of them's a bigger bad. Yeah, I think they, I think they both they they all of them suck. Especially one thing that really sucks is this fog. <laughs> yep. Because we used to be this able went, to see, and now we can't. This went from very doable. Yep. To very undoable. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is one of those um is probably a one star. Oh. That works. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> Big guy. Oh, he's oh the that's one the one star. Okay. This is the guy we got to watch out for. Got it. Luckily, they're slow. 
Oh, we got, he's got friends. They are all regular ones, though. How you doing? You do you good over there? Uh, I've got a locks on me. Oh, okay. Okay, I got the locks. Stamina. Why? Oh, because of the wet wet effect. Oh my god, I am shooting like through their armpits. <laughs> Get on top of this rock here so I can recover some stamina. You better drop something. Alright, the locks is dead. He didn't drop anything. Not even like gold or anything? I mean, he dropped gold and... Like, at least something. It sounds, once again, like they're battling like something like crazy. There's probably something coming out of the, um... Mistlands. The Mistlands. Are oh, they fighting a... a Greydorf, uh... Shaman. Alright, the Shaman's dead in here, too. I think that's the end of the fuelings. Oh, no, there's one... One last guy up here. Getting wrecked right now. <laughs> All right, um, is there anything of any kind of value here, or do we just kill these poor people for no reason? <laughs> oh, I hear weird cackling. Oh, weird cackling, huh? We don't know about like that. Like Mislin's cackling. Ah, there's a fire right there. Let's uh, shoot an arrow at it. Oh, I think that's a that's a great uh, fr fulling right there. That I just shot. That there's a troll. There's a troll in the in the fueling village. Ah. The come here, right come here, troll! You're my, you're my buddy. <laughs> come here. <laughs> Get over here, troll. You and I gotta have a talk. Oh, he's fighting a one-star fueling. All right, one-star fueling dead. Trolls all that's left. Trolls dead. I hear some weird mechanical hum thing happening in the uh, mist lens. I, see, I heard yeah. that. I've heard that before too, and I don't know. What I'm in is. danger. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I should not be here. All right. <laughs> Just kind of ran this in there for a me second. Of, uh, Bill Burr. Uh -huh. Are you fing with it? <laughs> yeah. How did the snake get so mad? It almost killed you. <laughs> Ooh. You good, over, that you good over there? <laughs> it blocks me so far. Correct. Remember when those things used to be dangerous? Many, many hours later. <laughs> I finally finished it. Okay, that was a big jump, I know. And it's not fully furnished yet, by any means. But here we have the stable. I gotta move that wood pile, too. That's not supposed to be there. But here we have the the stable. Yeah, the building itself is complete. We've got nice little windows here with the shutters on them and stuff. You can see inside there's actually something, but this is the architecture behind it, okay? This is the me the method behind the madness. It took quite a bit to build. It's a two-story, like, house, I guess is what you'd call it. It could actually work as, like, a, a house on the top floor. I don't actually have the staircase leading up to the top floor in there yet, but uh, that is something that I can work on in between episodes and on my own free time, you know? Just something to kind of casually build stuff. So it's got a nice little deck patio up, up, out the back. I could, I think I'm uh, going to jazz up the overhangs a little bit, too, more than what it currently is. Kind of make them look uh, fancy, like uh, kind of like what we have going on over on this place here. Yeah, especially like with a little decoration poking out of one of the ends, probably the front end, probably this end right here. I think that might look pretty good. But inside, it's a little spacious. Okay, we got two entrances. We got one here, and we got one right here, actually. So the pigs are in here just doing their thing, just acting all pig-like. Uh, been cleaning them up as I've been going, so um, got quite, quite a bit of boar meat already doing that. It's kind of nice being able to collect uh, one-star boars whenever I need to. But yeah, we got a nice little smoke, smokeless hearth in here. We got our Christmas tree, of course. I kept the stone cutter in here. For, for right now, this is the, the ladders I have just getting up here. But this will definitely change. But the top floor is uh, done as far as the building-wise. I just have to furnish it, of course. But yeah, and I'm probably going to have the stairs come up right here, actually, come to think of it. It's similar to what I actually have right now going on. Oh, I, oh my god, I'm trapped up here. Uh, I have a solution for that. It is to break a window that I didn't mean to. There we go. <laughs> Let's actually, uh, let's actually see if we can't put that that window I accidentally just broke back. A miss, little misclick there, my bad. Perfect, never happened. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, this is the the stable finished in its entirety. 
Uh, the ladder I'm thinking, or the stairs I'm thinking, might I might have them come up right here and actually connect right there anyway, so that might be the entrance to the top floor anyway, so I kind of like that idea. Put ourselves a little cart here, might throw some supplies in there. We can go ahead and break this thing down, don't need that there anymore. Uh, but yeah, that is the stable complete. The starter farms are no more, and now we have a nice stable here where we can raise our boars. Alright, you guys, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up. So if you did enjoy it, please be sure to smash that like button. And, uh, and thank you guys for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode of Valheim Plus. I'll be back next week with more. Thanks for watching, everybody, and bye-bye.